Hey everyone, it's Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet these cute little purses. They measure about seven inches across and they're super cute. They're a perfect size for putting lots of treasures inside or just using as a small little bag for whatever you want to use it for. Kids love them and adults love them too. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make these cute little purses or bags, you're going to need some acrylic yarn. I'm going to be using this blue and cream today for, I'm going to do cream in the center and I'm going to do blue on the outside and then I'm going to do the whole back in a solid blue and then I'll do the ears in cream and blue also. You'll need a little bit of white for the eyes, just a dab of pink for the tongue and I'm going to use this brown for the middle of the eyes and the nose and smile. It's totally up to you what colors you want to choose. Like this one's done in beige and browns, and this one's done in pinks and purples. So you can do whatever colors that you want to. You're only going to need about three ounces of your main colors. So, and everything else is just bits and pieces of small amounts of yarn that you probably have already in your stash for the details of the bag. You're also going to need a button, and I'm just going to use this cute little brown button. I used flowers on these so it looked like that the dog had a flower on its head, and that's just for keeping your bag closed. There we go. We're going to be stitching today with an H hook, and the H is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in ends embroidering on details and sewing on your button, of course, and then you'll need your scissors. We're going to be starting with the front of the bag first. We'll be using brown to begin with, where this one is black for the nose, and then we'll make the face portion in cream, and then we'll use this blue for the outside edge. I'm beginning with the brown because it is the color that I'm using for the nose on my bag. So we'll do our slip knot. We're going to chain three. And then we're going to place 10 half double crochets in the second chain from the hook. Yarn over. There's our first chain. Here's our second. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all three of those. So there's one two, three, four, five, that tail out of the way, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to join to that first half double crochet with a slip stitch and we're going to cut our yarn. Then we'll join in our next color because only the tip of our nose is going to be brown. All right, let's chain one. And before we go any farther, let's turn this over Let's take our needle and close up that hole in the center. So we'll thread that tail of yarn on our needle. And we'll go around those stitches and close up that hole. This is going to have to be weaved in anyway, so we might as well close it up now. If you want to wait until the end, you can, but I just find it easier to do it now. There we 
go. I'll clip that off. And now for row one, we have 10 half double crochets. So we've changed colors and we chained one. And we're going to place one half double crochet in each of the 10 stitches. And this is going to cause the front of the bag to sort of stick out to, sh to form the nose of our bag. So yarn over, go in the first, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our last stitch is 10. We're going to join to that first half double crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. Now we're going to take this and push this forward and see how that begins to look like the nose on the front of our bag. Now we're just going to repeat row two. Our chain one does not count as a stitch, so we'll go right in our first stitch and stitch a half double crochet, and we'll stitch one half double crochet in each of the 10 all the way around. And that again, just helps the front of our bag look like our puppy dog has a nose. There we go. Looks like one more stitch. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're going to again join to our first half double crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. And so you can see our little nose sticks out from the front of our bag. Now, for row four, we're going to place two half double crochets in each of those ten stitches. So we'll go in the first one and stitch two one and two. And this is going to cause the front of our bag to start to go flat so that it starts looking like the circle shape that we need. So two half double crochets in each of the 10, and that's going to give us 20 half double crochets. And see how that's already starting to look flat? We'll continue this around, stitching two half double crochets in each of those 10, and then join back to our first half double crochet. For row five, we're going to do what's called one and two. We're going to stitch two half double crochets in the first stitch, and one half double crochet in the next two half double crochets in the next stitch, and one half double crochet in the next. And we'll repeat this working all the way around this row. I call that doing two and one or one and two. And like I've said in the past, it's not an official term. It just helps me remember what I'm supposed to be doing on this row. So two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next. And we'll repeat that working two and one all the way around and then join back to our first half double crochet. I've completed that row stitching one and two and you should have 30 half double crochets I joined to my first half double crochet and chained one. Now, for row six, we're going to do two and two. We're going to place one half double crochet in the first stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next two. Two 
two and two. Two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next two. There we go. All right, two half double crochets in the next and one half double crochet in the next two. And again, we'll continue this all the way around and join back to our half double crochet that we began with. I've completed row six. You should have 40 half double crochets around. And now for row seven, we're going to do two and three. Two half double crochets in the first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. And we'll repeat this all the way around again. Two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. Two, and three. One, two, three. Two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next three. And we'll repeat this all the way around and join back to our first half double crochet. I've completed row seven and you should have 50 half double crochets for row seven. We're going to cut our yarn and we're going to change to our second color. And I'm using blue for my second color. So we'll take that chain one out if you put a chain one in there. And then we'll join our blue. We want to make sure we do our chain one after our color change. Or we'll end up with just a little bump of our first color on our next row. All right, so for row eight, we're going to be doing two and four. So we'll place two half double crochets in the first stitch. And then we'll place one half double crochet in the next four half double crochets. And we'll repeat that. Two half double crochets in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Two half double crochets in the next and one half double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. And we'll repeat this, stitching two and four all the way around and join back to our first half double crochet. I've completed row eight. We changed colors to our second color and we did two and four. And so for row nine, we're going to do two and five. So we'll go in our first stitch and stitch two half double crochets, one and two, and then we'll stitch one half double crochet in the next five. And this is our last increase stitch for our circle. So we're going to stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch, and then one half double crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll continue this all the way around. Two half double crochets in the next stitch 
and one half double crochet in the next five. We'll work it all the way around and join back to our first half double crochet. I've completed row nine, stitching two in the same stitch and then one in the next five. I join to my first uh, half double crochet and then chain one. For row 10, we're going to just stitch one half double crochet in each of the stitches around, only we're going to be working in the back loops only. So if you look at the top where you have your loops, you'll notice there's a loop on each side. The loop that is facing you is your front loop. The loop that is facing away is your back loop. And we're going to be placing our half double crochets in the back loops only. One half double crochet in each stitch. So, yarn over, I'm going to go in just the back loop and stitch a half double crochet. You'll notice that as you stitch in the back loop only, there'll be a little line that forms from the loop we didn't stitch in. And this is going to help our bag have an edge in order to attach the front to the back. So we're going to stitch one half double crochet in each of the stitches working in the back loops only. one half double crochet in each half double crochet stitching in the back loops only all the way around and then we'll join back to our first half double crochet. I've completed this row. You can see that line and what that does is it gives it sort of an edge when we attach the front and the back of the bag together so that it lays nicely and you have a little room to get your things inside. All right, so we're going to cut our yarn. We're going to go in the next loop and pull that loop to the back and tie off to the back. That way it has a nice edge all the way around our bag. We do need to take a few minutes and weave in our ends and then I'm going to show you how to make the back of the bag. To make the back of the bag, it's very similar to the front of the bag. We're just not going to be making the nose the same. We are going to begin with our slip knot. We're going to chain three and we're going to stitch 10 half double crochets in the second chain from the hook, just like we began on the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We'll join to our first half double crochet with a slip stitch and chain one. And of course it looks the same as the nose did. It has a little hole that we need to fix and we know how to do that. But for row one of the back of our bag, we have 10 half double crochets. I'm going to fix this hole and then we'll do row two. I've closed up that hole the same way we did on the nose. And what we're going to do is we're basically skipping the next two rows and going to row four of the front, but it's actually row two of the back of our pattern. And so what we're going to do is stitch two half double crochets in each of these 10 half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. And we'll continue that on around. Two half double crochets in each of the 10 half double crochets. And then we'll join back to our first half double crochet. I completed row two, which is row four of our front, but it's row two of our back because we didn't want the nose on the back of our bag. And so what you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, just like you did on the front of your bag on the back. We'll do one and two, two and two, three and two, four and two, five and two, and then one row, just like this one of one half double crochet working in the back loops only. So basically you're repeating on the back what you did on the front minus the nose. I've completed the circle for the back and here is the row where I stitched in the back loop only. You can see that line. And what you're going to do is you need to decide where you want the top of your purse to be. And we're going to put the wrong sides together and we're going to stitch it together. We're going to begin over on the side and we're going to go through both the front and the back and we want to leave about a six inch opening. Okay, so what I do is I just take a needle and mark that. There isn't a set amount of stitches. You just want it to be big enough so you can get your hand inside and put your things inside. So I've marked with this needle where I want to stop on this side. We're going to leave this open and here's where I've got my hook in. I'm going to pull that in. And we're going to be stitching through the front and the back with the right sides out. And we're going to stitch single crochet stitches. We'll go in here and here. And I'm going to stitch over that tail of yarn so it can stay in place. And then I can come back in and weave that in later. All right, so what we're going to do is continue working around stitching single crochets through the front and the back which is basically sewing our front and our back to our bag or purse together. There we go. And see how that looks. Here's our front, here's our back, and we're just stitching the bag together. And I'll continue to do this all the way around until I get over here where I marked it with my pen. So I've stitched all the way around the bottom of my bag. Here is where I marked my opening. And now what we're going to do is we're going to only stitch single crochets in the back. And we're going to go halfway across, make our button tab, and then go back over here and join where we started. All right, so we're not going to put single crochets in the front anymore, just the back stitches until we reach the center of where our opening is. Because we want to make a button loop right in the center of that opening. There is not a set number of stitches that you need across here. It's up to you how big you want your opening for your bag. So you just want to stitch single crochets until you reach the center of what you've left open. And then we're going to chain 12. We'll join back at the top of that single crochet that we just stitched with a slip stitch and then we'll continue to stitch single crochets there we go across the rest of the top of the back of the bag opening 
until we reach where we started. And see what we did here is we made the button loop. All right, so I'm back where I started. I'm going to go ahead and go in and stitch a slip stitch and cut my yarn. I'll go in the next stitch and pull that loop to the back and tie off. And I will need to use my needle to weave those ends in, but I want you to see here's the front, here's our button loop, and I'll probably put my button about right there. I'm not going to put it on right now, but I like to kind of see so I have an idea. All right, so the next thing that we need to do, of course, is tidy up these ends, but we also need to add the eyes and the ears. I've got one of the ears made and placed on the purse, and now we're going to make the other one. You're going to need two. You're going to need the inside and the outside. As you can see, it's cream on the inside and blue on the outside with a blue trim. And so you end up making four ears that make two ears. Okay, so I've already got the white or the cream color inside completed. And so I'm going to use the blue. We're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 10. We're going to begin in the second chain from the hook and stitch eight single crochets, one in each of the next eight chains. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight single crochets. Then in the last stitch, we're going to stitch two single crochets, one and two. Now we're going to turn and work down the opposite side of our chain. We're going to skip that end where we put those two and then we'll stitch one, whoops, Get in there. One single crochet in the next eight stitches. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain one. So we have eight and two and we have eight. So that's 16, 17, 18 stitches. Chain one and turn. We're going to stitch a half double crochet in the first five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to stitch a single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Now we're going to continue on this other side. We'll stitch a single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. And that leaves us five stitches. And we're going to stitch one half double crochet in those five. One, two, three, four, and five. We'll go ahead and chain one. So we have a blue and we have a white, which is an inside and an outside of our ear. So I took a couple seconds and went ahead and weaved in the inside. And I like to do the inside first and then do the outside. And I went ahead and weaved in that one as well. That way I don't have to cut my yarn. I can go ahead and stitch it together. We're going to put the right sides out. We'll go in the first stitch on this side and grab that loop. 
pull it through and now we're going to stitch single crochets all the way around all right so we'll go right back in that same stitch and stitch a single crochet and then we'll stitch a single crochet stitching the front of the ear to the back of the ear with single crochets similar to how we put the front and the back of the bag together and this makes it look really nice because um, the inside of the ear is a different color than the outside and by using the same color trim as the back of the ear it gives it kind of a 3D effect in my opinion in there there we go that stitch was just a little bit tight it still is there we go it happens coming around that corner can be a little bit tight but it's okay it looks cute and we like the way that it kind of curls a little bit that's kind of the look I was going for all right let's make sure everything's lined up Make sure all our stitches work together. All right, so there's our ear. And we're going to tie off. But we want to make sure we leave enough to attach it to the hat. Now, this ear is attached right next to the opening. And we want to do that on this side as well. All right, so we want the front of our ear to be about right here on that opening. I'm going to turn it this way get that thread on the right side of my crochet hook there there we go and make sure everything's lined up we'll go through the single crochets and the bottom stitches we'll grab that loop and we'll pull it through all three of those there we go looks like I got some strings in there but that's okay all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet that in place with about four or five, six stitches, however you want to add there. Make sure it's on there securely because we're going through the front and the back. We're closing up the bottom of the ear and we're attaching it to the hat. I mean, to the bag. This is not a hat. It is a bag. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And I'm going to use my needle to make sure that it's on there securely. That's why I said we need a long piece of yarn. And so I'll look at the front, see how it's laying, and I'll look at the back. I want to make sure those edges especially are going to stay in place. And so I'm just going to make some whip stitches going through the back. And those stitches we added, making sure because you know this is probably going to be played with quite a bit and those ears are probably going to be tugged on and we don't want them to come off that would just be heartbreaking all right so i'm going to look at the front pull on it a little bit making sure they're going to stay put and then i can go ahead and weave that in and the key to getting a good weave in is to weave in through stitches and through fibers of the yarn going one way then the other I've already made one of my eyes and placed it on my purse and I'm going to show you how to make the other one and then add all the fun details so we're going to begin with our slip knot and chain three and then we're going to stitch five half double crochets in the second chain from the hook We're going to join to that first half double crochet with a slip stitch and we'll go ahead and tie that off because that's just the center of our eye. We're going to bring in our white, 
join that in and then we're going to place two half double crochets in each of those five stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten all right we're going to join to our first single or I'm sorry our first We're going to join to our first half double crochet and then we're going to tie off. We're going to leave ourselves about 10 or 12 inches of yarn so we can sew it onto our purse. But before we do that, we need to tidy up the back. We need to weave in these ends with our needle and we want to make sure there isn't a hole in the center of our eye. So we'll thread that on. We'll close up this eye by stitching around there we go we'll cut that one and then we need to weave these two in and we can pop this over and that becomes our eye all right it's time to place our eye onto our bag so I'm going to set it right there and it does look a little bit flat, but the way we sew it on, it's going to cause it to sort of pop up some. So we're going to go in and just go around those outside stitches. Going around those edges. And I pretty much just keep going around until I run out of yarn because, again, I'm pretty sure this is going to be played with. We want it to last and have the ability to be played with by children. There, see now they're kind of popping out there. All right, so now I'm going to go inside and weave this in. All righty. All right, so now I want to show you how to do the details on the face. All right, because it looks a little bit plain, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of this brown since I used brown for my eyes and my nose. <clears throat> if you want your dog to have some eyelashes, you can go into the side. And when you're stitching on, make sure you go into stitches and not holes. Okay, and so you can do this. And that'll give your little chihuahua a couple of eyelashes. There we go. Now she has three little eyelashes. All right, and what I do, rather than cutting my yarn, I'll make a little loop stitch so that that stays put. And now I'm going to go to the nose, okay? So I'm going to come up under here. I'm going to make a stitch to the bottom of that nose, and I'm just going to go just like this. Again, making sure my stitches are in stitches and not holes. See the smile? All right, so now since I have eyelashes on that side, I want to put them on the other eye. I don't want to cut my yarn, so let's go in here. We'll make a little loop. 
like we did on the other one just so it stays put and then we'll come over to our other eye all right now I want to look at it make sure everything looks similar and again I'm going to do the outside first so I'll go in those stitches and then through there there we go so now I have my little chihuahua with eyelashes this one's a little low isn't it <laughs> and a little smile under the nose. To make the handle you're going to use a strand of two different colors of yarn and since I made this one in blue and cream I'm going to use the blue and cream yarn. And you'll notice I did move up the eyelashes a little bit. I felt like they were too low. <laughs> Alright so we're going to take both strands and I'm still using my H hook made my slip knot and we're going to chain 50 chains now this makes a nice size handle if you want your handle longer or shorter you can certainly change the number of chains that you make I am going to make 50 chains I've chained my 50 chains I'm going to cut my yarn tie off and all we're going to do is just attach it to the bag and what I like to do is this little place right here next to the ear I'll just grab that make a stitch and then I'm going to pull that to the inside of the bag okay and then what I like to do is I'll go through a couple of the loops and I'll just grab one of those and then I'll do my famous three knots one two and then that little loop knot we want to make sure that's secure because that's what's holding the bag all right, and then we'll just do this on the other side. Pull that, make a loop, go inside. There we go. Grab both those strands of yarn. go through some loops on the inside grab one we've got some yarn there that needs to be tied in so we'll just go ahead and grab that too there's one two and then that little loop knot I like to do all right so there's the handle and the last thing we need to do is attach our button put it about right there and again make sure you stitch this on going through stitches and not holes or you'll lose those stitches right through and your button won't be on securely And of course you can do that as many times as you need to and we'll go ahead and tie our three knots one two and then that loop knot and any of these knots that you place on this bag if you want to add a little bit of fray check or fabric glue you certainly can it's not going to hurt a thing for this project all right now if you want your dog to have a tongue you can take some pink yarn and sometimes I do them to the side sometimes I do them down and just make a couple of stitches
just like that. Just a couple of stitches, two or three. Because you know, puppy dogs do need a tongue. And if you wanna make this into a bunny, you can do two of those spaced out in white so that it looks like teeth. Alrighty, so I'm just going to do that triple knot inside here real quick. This is too long. And then our little purse will be complete. There we go. So here are the two little puppy bags that we made before, and then here's the one that we made today. And it really just depends on where you put the ears, how they look. And remember, this purse can be a bear, a cat, a bunny, a dog. Just by changing out the ears, you could add some whiskers for a kitty, some teeth for a bunny. Use your imagination and have some fun.